Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on configuring a checkbox on a user form in Excel. So I have here an Excel workbook that has two user forms. The first allows you to select a particular educational level for a participant and then check off whether the student has won an award. I'm going to show you how to add this feature. The original user form is this one which just allows you to select the educational level and this project was constructed in a video titled add data to an excel worksheet with a list box on a user form so i'm going to show you how to get uh, from here to this user form that has the checkbox feature the list box that you saw in both those user forms is populated from the range here in column A, which is a dynamic named range, which I have named educational level. You can see it uses an offset function to select all the populated cells in column A. And I have a separate video on dynamic named ranges that shows you how to create these. So the only one you need for this project would be educational level. So a quick demonstration of how the final user form works. Uh, say that you have these participants and you want to indicate the educational level and some have won at least one award and you want to note that with a yes or a no. So say you had participant 1001 that had a bachelor's degree, you would double click bachelor's degree, it will automatically come up with no awards. Let's say you had another student with a bachelor's degree that didn't have a, an award, you would check this checkbox down here and double click bachelor's degree and it will come up with a yes. So this is a convenient and easy way to use the checkbox to help populate the data more quickly. So let's move over to the code view, which is Alt F11. And this is the code for the form that's uh, already complete with a checkbox. So I'm going to close this and move to the other user form that just has the list box and show you what has to be changed to get this form here to behave like this form here. So we can see this has a label, a list box. It's populated uh, from educational level. That's changed here on the row source of the list box on the left here. See row source, educational level. So we want to add a checkbox to this user form. So I'm just going to expand this vertically a little bit and from the toolbox you can see the second row the first item is checkbox so select that and then place that down on the user form now you can see it's very hard to see the caption because it's in black so I'm going to change the four color to white now you can see it says checkbox one I'm going to change, I'm going to leave the name checkbox one, but I'm going to change the caption to read student has one award. So now all the controls that you need are on this user form. So I'll just tighten this up a little. So now we need to add the code to allow the checkbox to function as we want it to. And that code will actually be added uh, behind the list box. And that code's already here. It's double click. So it's list box, double click. We can add the code we need to into this subroutine. So the first thing we'll need to do is add an if then else statement to address what to do when the checkbox is clicked and when it's not clicked. So it's important to understand with the checkbox that 
when it's unclicked, its value equals false. And when it's checked, its value equals true. So this statement would be if checks checkbox one value equals true, then the active cell offset, because it's going to be the cell next to the active cell, by zero rows in one column, so that's one to the right, will have a value equals yes. So in this case the student has won the award. So if the checkbox value is true, meaning the checkbox is checked, you want the cell next to the educational level to display yes. So then we have else. And I'm just going to use the, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And change this to no. So if it's true, then it'll put in the yes. Otherwise, it'll put in a no. And then, of course, you always remember the end if at the end of an if then else statement. And the only other thing we want to do to have this code work the way we want it to is to reset the checkbox value back to unchecked. So it would be checkbox one value equals false. And that's it. So it's just these lines of code here. So if we go back to the Excel worksheet that we're working on, and of course this is the original user form, and here's the one I just modified to function the same way. So if you have a student with, say, a doctorate, they haven't won an award, you just double click that, a master's with no award. Let's say we have uh, some of the bachelor's that does have an award, student has won award, double click bachelor's, and then you have the bachelor's degree, and then under awards, it indicates yes. So the properties of a checkbox are fairly straightforward, and it's convenient to use, and can be an efficient way to add data to a data set. I hope you found this video on configuring checkboxes on a user form in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.